Hello! In this video we want to show you how you can very easily set up kinematic chains in ICI Do and interactively evaluate the behavior of such mechanisms. The first step for setting up such a mechanism is to set up the appropriate group structure in ICIDO. Then each of the group nodes should be part of the physics simulation, so we define the group nodes to be rigid objects. When we start the physics simulation, we can already move the individual parts around, but currently without any limitation or constraints. So in the next step we have to connect the parts together with the correct type of joint connections between the parts. We start with the first part which we define to be fixed, so this part should not move at all. Next we connect the next part to this one by defining the axis of rotation and then setting up a hinge joint between these two objects. This has the effect that the second object can be moved around the specified axis, so it can be moved now only by rotating around this axis. The same procedure is now repeated for the next connections. So we first detect the axis of rotation and then define the two objects and specify the hinge connection between these two objects. Note that it's very easy to find the correct axis as the system automatically detects axis in the geometry and snaps to it. Finally, for the last connection, we have to define another type of connection. So for this cylinder, we don't want to establish a connection by rotating, but by translating. So we choose a prismatic joint for this connection. That way, we have already defined our mechanism, which in this case consists of a closed kinematic chain. If we move some component of this chain now, we can see how the whole mechanism behaves.